not entirely sure what time it is right now, but the sun's about to come up. I left this morning at, uh, the last time I looked at the clock, it was like 4.30. I probably left, left 15 minutes after that. So quarter to five, 4.45. And uh, I'm driving to town to pick up, pick up some packages and stuff, as I do every month or two. And today, since I left in the dark, this is going to be the biggest test of the new batteries I put in the boat. Definitely the biggest test I've done so far. So right now I'm getting zero energy out of the solar panel. I won't get anything until the, you know, the sun gets above the horizon. And I've been driving for maybe an hour and a half just on batteries. And uh, I'm getting pretty close to halfway to town. So, yeah, I'm basically driving halfway there just on batteries. And uh, even when the sun pops up, I'm still not going to be getting that much energy for a while. So most of the trip to town is going to be just on the batteries. And uh, I have two 24-volt, 100-amp-hour lithium iron phosphate batteries. They're made by uh, Red Odo. R-E-D-O-D-O. And I've been super impressed with these things. They've been, they've been really, really good. And, uh, you know, I've been driving for an hour and a half just on batteries, zero problems. And I just checked the voltage. It's at 26.5 volts, uh, which is good. I still have lots of energy in them. I'm not driving full speed, but I'm driving I'm probably driving 75% of my top speed. And yeah, everything's going great. Oh, I should also mention, <clears throat> a few people have asked me about lithium iron phosphate battery recommendations. And uh, so I guess I could highly recommend the batteries that I have in here, the, the Rododo ones. So the other day I signed up for their affiliate program, which means I can get you like a coupon or something. I don't know. I'll, I'll put a link down here in the description for anyone who's any of the people who've been asking me or anyone who's just interested in lithium iron phosphate batteries that, uh, that are pretty awesome. Man, it's, it's incredible how much energy these things have in them. They're like 50 pounds each. Like I have a total of 100 pounds of batteries in this boat. And uh, I could drive for hours on it. It's so crazy. Um, anyway, yeah, I'll put a link down here. I think I, I think I, I got a link for a coupon or something. Whatever it is, I'll, I'll put it down here. So, yeah, now I'm just, just driving. This morning was a totally clear sky. It's still pretty clear now. There's a bit of clouds coming up over there, but oh, I can still see a star back there. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, the stars this morning were amazing. Yeah, I could see like everything. I would have got it on camera, but man, cameras just can't do stars justice. You know, I've seen starry nights in magazines before, and it's just not the same as being there. Saw a few shooting stars, some satellites and stuff. It was a really clear night. Um, all right, I guess, I guess I'm just gonna keep driving. Oh, and the reason I'm standing up here on the front of the boat um, is because it was so dark this morning, which is why the, the stars showed up so well, um, that I came and stood up here because I could see a little better in the dark. Um, and I have this, the steering column comes all the way up here. Like this goes all the way through the boat. Ooh, look at that sunrise. Um, you know, it attaches to the steering wheel so I can steer from up here. Man, this has been a super useful thing. Uh, and now I'm still standing up here because it's, uh, it's just a nice view. All right, I'm going to shut up and keep driving. Oh, there is another reason I uh, stand at the front of the boat. It's because this is a cargo boat, right? So this is like the cargo area up here in the front. And my chair is way back there, my nice comfy chair. Oh, man, those chairs are awesome. Um, but when there's no cargo in the boat, like right now, what I got, like an empty wheelbarrow and my, my anchor and a paddle, like there's basically no weight in the front of the boat. You know, the boat tips up 
so the front is a lot higher than the back because all the weights in the back where the motor and the batteries and the solar panel this whole roof is toward the back of the boat so like all the weights in the back of the boat right now so my boat's kind of going like this that's an exaggeration but like the front is up and the back is down so i'm kind of plowing through the water so if i stand up here at the front of the boat it levels me out a little more and i can uh, run a little more efficient go a bit faster but to actually get the boat leveled out i have to put about a ton of weight up on the front here So I'm, I'm halfway to town right now, like pretty much exactly. Checking my charge controller here. The batteries have been holding steady at 26 and a half volts, like the whole time. I don't know what they were like right when I started, but the first time I checked it, it was 26 and a half volts and it's been holding steady on that the whole time. And right now the sun just came up. So I'm gonna have to check when I get back home, since I don't have a watch or anything, what what the exact time of sunrise is. Because I left at about 4.45, and halfway to town is sunrise. I actually saw the first sliver of the sun just as I grabbed the camera. So, yeah, it's just popping up now. And... I should start getting some energy from the solar panels now, and uh, it's not going to be a—it's not going to be much at first, but I'll slowly get more energy as I go. And I've been running my motor at about half speed. Oh well, no, not half speed, half power. And the way boats work—if you—if you run your motor at like half power, you're still going like 75% speed, roughly. Um, but I think 
I'll be able to speed up a little as I start getting some sun. I can also tilt the solar panels up to aim toward the sun. Hopefully the sun doesn't go behind those clouds over there. Either way, I'm pretty sure I could make it the rest of the way at this speed on these batteries. No problem. I could probably drive all the way there and back. It's crazy how much energy these things have. I'm so impressed. You know, what I've, what I've been sitting here thinking about is, like these batteries are so good, it makes me want to build something that I've had designed in my head for a while and I just haven't done it partly, I mean there are a lot of reasons, but one of the big reasons is just the power source that this thing would need. And the thing is, uh, it's basically an Iron Man suit, you know, like a like an exoskeleton. Without, you know, the flying and all the magical blasts and all that stuff. Just like a suit I can put on and like triple my strength, you know? And when I first designed this thing, like, I don't know, 30 years ago or whatever, um, just the, the battery limitations kind of made it like, well, I mean, that would be cool, but I wouldn't be able to run it very, very long and I, or I'd have to have it plugged in or something. But with, with how good these lithium iron phosphate batteries are, like I could, I could put a couple lithium batteries in and run that thing at a at a useful like for a useful amount of time you know like make it would it would be it would be super useful to have a suit i could put on walk out into the jungle and pick up an amount of wood that i could not normally carry and carry that back to the boat that would be super useful or even like uh you know moving rocks and stuff like that that would be great and uh, yeah, I'm starting to think I might want to I might want to build that because it would be it would be a super fun thing to build, but also super useful if I can if I can do a good job making one. All right, what's this thing? Oh, it says I'm getting 0.1 amps from the solar panels now. So I mean that's almost nothing, but I'm starting to get some energy from the sun. So that means for the last two hours, I've been going solely on these Redodo batteries. And uh, yeah, I'm super impressed, man. 26 and a half volts still. All right, just gonna shut up and pedal, keep driving. steer a bit. I need to be going over there. That's good because it puts the sun a little bit more to the side. Let me hit these solar panels. Yeah. Hey, get out of here, Leaf.
I'm about 10 minutes from where I'm going and man, what a beautiful trip this has been. So good. I did speed up to full speed. I'm getting a bunch of sun on the solar panels now. Just take a peek at the batteries. Not even warm. Ah, oh, beauty, that's great. And I presume the one under there is the same. Just let them charge, and uh, they might even be able to get up, back up to full charge before. So in the boat here, <laughs> I just picked up six more of those Redodo batteries. Only two of these are for me. The other four are for a neighbor. And Rododo did originally send me one of these for free, you know, to show on my YouTube channel. And since then, I, I bought three more. And between my neighbors, I think they bought eight, something like that. So I think, I think they've made a good profit off the one they gave to me already. Um, but anyway, the reason I got two more is because the price went down on them. Um, and yeah, if anyone if anyone's interested in lithium iron phosphate batteries, I totally recommend those. And like I said, I have a link. I think I have a link to a coupon that I'll put down here. Whatever, whatever I have, I'll put the link down here. Oh, and when I got back in the boat, uh, I checked the charge controller and no energy was going into the battery, which means it was full. So the battery charged just in the, what was it, three hours that I was in town. So, yeah, you know, I thought I was giving these batteries a workout by, by coming to town halfway in the dark, but I, they're, they're handling it like it's a piece of cake. Partly because it's a beautiful day and it's real sunny, so I've got lots of solar power. But man, just those, those batteries are really awesome. And to be honest, I'm not actually entirely sure what I'm going to do with my two new batteries. I got them because they were on sale. Uh, and I know I can use them for something. So I'll have to think of something good. I did consider putting two more batteries in this boat, but I don't think it needs it. Like, this is the farthest trip I do, and I don't need the batteries for it. I did half of it in the dark. Well, not half, but... Anyway, I don't know. I'll have to come up with something cool to do with them. Oh, giant robot! Now, what am I gonna do with a pair of these awesome batteries? Man, who I don't know yet. I also got some Lego. Some 3D printer juice. You know, 3D printer juice. Radio control thing, and some other radio control parts, and a game of Go. Yeah. And then this, this 